John and I went to the opening night of the Broadway musical, The Piano Lesson. Yes, and it, it stars Samuel L. Jackson, John David Washington, Danielle Brooks, Ray Fisher, uh, Trey Byers, Michael Potts, and a special shout out to April Mathis. Uh, April Mathis was in the show, and I just gotta say, April, you were absolutely amazing because you stole some of those scenes and had me cracking up. I wanna see more of you, April. Um, but clap if, you, if any of you remember the original piano lesson. Does anybody remember the original? Clap if you remember the original piano. Okay. So this is new for a lot of people. The Piano Lesson is a modern interpretation of the classic August Wilson play uh, that was directed by Samuel Jackson's wife, the incomparable <laughs> Latonya Richardson Jackson. She directed it. And so I got invited to the opening by my girlfriend, Candy Burris, who along, yes, who along with her husband, Todd Tucker, they are executive producers of the show. And so uh, John Murray went, he was my date for the night. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something about this dog on John Murray. <laughs> we are sitting here in the theater. You can hear a pin drop. We're sitting in silence, and John Murray kept distracting me because he was unwrapping his cough drop. <laughs> He was, un now, usually I had a cough, but I will do this. I will unwrap my cough drop before the show starts or when people start applauding. Yeah. When they applaud or when they have a good laugh or music starts, then I unwrap it real quick, pop it in my mouth. <laughs> John unwrapped it during all of the monologues. So you, all you heard was crackling <laughs> paper everywhere. Let me tell you something, and it was like, and there was all these celebrities in front of us, the crackling paper. Uma Thurman is kitty corner from us. <laughs> Camera Manheim is over here. Behind me is 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 it was it was uh, Lynn Whitfield. Lynn Whitfield. And then so he's he's crackling it. Then he after he pops it in his mouth, he decides to to fold it up. <laughs> and it's still crackling. He over here doing origami with the dog on cough drop wrapper. Did you know you were that loud? First of all, you didn't tell me you were gonna be talking trash about me on the show today. I just had to get it off my chest. And they weren't cough drops, they were Skittles, and you have to fold it up so they don't roll all over the floor. I love my, I need a good sugar fix. The plate was two hours and 20 minutes. I needed some sugar. But everybody could hear you when you were unwrapping, and then the thing was, and then, let me tell you about this theater. These seats are so tight. They are so tight, so his elbow is on the thing. Like, we gotta share that, that thing in the middle. So he unwrapping, I can't get my, my arm in there. Then there was another celebrity uh, on the side of me. I'm pushing her arm off the chair. Like, it was just, but the, the play was magnificent. Wonderful. It was wonderful. It was magnificent. Oh my gosh, I see Tony's in the future. But it was a lot of celebrities there. It was just like Magic Johnson and his wife Cookie, and they were there, and their daughter EJ was there, Cameron Mannheim, Jesse Williams was there, Jane Krakowski, Uma Thurman, Lynn Whitfield. And let me tell you, Magic Johnson sat behind Lynn Whitfield, and Magic Johnson is six foot nine. So he is so tall that producers reportedly had to remove the seat in front of him so he could fit. And I gotta say, I'd have been mad if Magic was sitting in front of me. Cause he's so tall. And, and Magic is big, cause when I went and said hi to him, Magic stood up and all the lights went out in the theater. <laughs> Just... As soon as Magic Johnson stood up, the lights went out, I said, oh, the play ready to start. We got it. <laughs> then Magic Johnson sat down, the lights came back on. He's like... Huge, and, and I have to say, here's the thing about talking to these celebrities. It was a star-studded affair, and I get social anxiety because I have, I've talked about this before, I have prosopagnosia, which is uh, facial blindness. So I can't remember a lot of faces, and, it, and I get shy because it's, uh, here, the thing, everybody surrounds the celebrities. And so you got a very limited amount of time to say something, so you gotta truncate everything you wanna say. Jesse Williams was sitting there, and you know, and first, First of all, Jesse Williams is in that play where he's butt naked. I forgot the, uh, yeah. take me to the ball game. Take me out. Take me out, which I would love for him to take me out. But, <laughs> so, 
already I got a visual that I shouldn't have in my head, but I had everybody was surrounding Jesse Williams. So you gotta run up to him, and I'm, I'm trying to say, and I went, hey, Jesse Williams, my name is Sherry Shepard, can you come play with us on the Sherry Show? And then you're trying to say it, but then somebody comes, Pauletta Washington came to talk to him, so then you go further and further away, you're like, hi, Jesse, and you, you, you know, and you, you're backing up, and then you look so shallow. Then somebody kept talking to me, I'm backing up further and further away, and then I ran into that fine Lenny Kravitz, and I'm, and I'm trying to talk to Lenny Kravitz. Y'all see me over there shooting my shot. And then I was trying to talk to Lenny Kravitz, and I'm talking really fast, and then Pauletta Washington starts talking to him. Every time I turned around, Pauletta Washington was talking to everybody. Damn you, Pauletta! Damn you, Pauletta! And I'm trying to get it in. And I'm trying to talk to Lenny Kravitz because Pauletta had walked away. And I'm trying, and then my ex-boyfriend that I broke up with jumps in front of me. What is you doing here? So I'm running. I'm trying to talk to Lenny Kravitz. And then I know, and it was just like, and then Lenny walked away. And I was running after him. And it just, it, I, it's literally the anxiety and the agita got on me. And then we had to go on the red carpet. And that stuff, I'm telling y'all, when you see celebrities, it looks like a lot of fun. It's so much work because on the red carpet, I gotta hold my stomach in. Uh-uh. No, no, no. Let me tell you something. This was a pain. This was a pain unlike no other. Because I have noticed when I hold my stomach in, I lose my neck. Every... The more I push my stomach in, the more my neck disappears. You know, you hold you in like this. In like that. It just... So I have no neck. Whenever you see me with no neck, it's because my stomach is flat. And I'm standing here, and the people are screaming at you, can you move this way? Go over here. Get out the way. And I'm, I'm trying to smile the whole time. Then I realize I ain't got my toes done, and my nails are chipped on my toes. And then I'm still trying to hold. So this looks like joy. When you see Sherry, you go, oh, she's so joyful. No, it's pain. Pain and anxiety. And then the whole time, Woo! then I'll, the glue on my head, because I'm sweating, the glue coming off my wig, that's sliding back. I got a bob on. I don't wear bobs off. So as I'm holding in my stomach, I lose my neck. My wig is coming back, coming back. So now, every, now the bob started like this. At the end, it was all like this. 